Hi there, welcome to the video. We'll be creating this login screen with Flutter. So as you can see, it's got a couple of cards. We have some buttons that we can click. We've got some text elements. Uh, we're even gonna look at changing the color of this input box right here. I hope you find it useful. Let's jump in. As always, we'll start off with a brand new project. We'll say Flutter Create, and this will be UI Login. You can call yours anything you want. You can even add this to your own Flutter project. This will take a short while to get started. And then once that has completed, we can CD into UI login. And then after that, open this up inside of VS Code. And when we run this application inside of VS Code, we can see, of course, the Flutter demo homepage, the counter that we all know and love. I'm gonna delete everything inside of my app and we'll create a new stateless widget. So let's delete everything. We simply have the void main function. We'll say stateless W, which is just part of my awesome Flutter snippets plugin. And we'll call this one my app. Right now it returns a container, which we need to change to a material app. So let's make a material app. We'll have the homepage equal to something that will create in a moment. So for now, just leave that blank. And at this point, we can open up the side menu. We can make a new folder called pages. Inside of pages, we can have a login.dart. We may want to have multiple pages, so we'll just keep everything inside of this folder. Right now, inside of login.dart, we can make this a stateless widget. We can change it to a stateful if we need to. So I'll use once again the snippets to start that up, and then we'll call this a login page. We'll need to add, of course, the material dot dart. And inside of this login page, I want to return the child, or rather the scaffold. And inside of the body of our scaffold, we won't need an app bar for this. We'll return a container. That container will just have a child, which has a column, some children in the column. And for now, just to make sure everything works, we'll say hello world. We may have to hot restart. And then that's going to show us that it's broken because we obviously don't have anything in main.dart to set the home page yet. So we'll set the home page to the login page. And this time, when we do the hot restart, once again, we can see the hello world in the top corner. Awesome. So what I want to do now is I want to create a card that we can use and we can sort of reuse throughout the application. So let's make a new folder called common. And inside of common, we can make an app card. So I've also made a video on this specific functionality called app card. So with app card itself, you can simply go ahead and look at the previous video. I'm going to paste in the code and we'll just talk about it instead of me making it once again. So here we have a stateful widget and it's called app card. It takes in three things, a child border style and box shadow color. The child is required. The other two properties are not. If we scroll down, it gives us a column which is simply stretched out to the maximum. So we'll take up the entire width with some luck. We'll then look at a card here, which has some margin. It has the color of white. We're then using a container to display the child content. That's what we pass into the cards. We then have a decoration with the box decoration, essentially giving us access to a border and a box shadow. So nothing too crazy. Like I said, if you look at my previous video, you'll see it how to actually achieve that. So let's pop back over to our login dot dart make sure you save the app card and within the login dot dart we'll need a centered card so let's instead of this text right now we'll have a look at making a center the center of course will have the child of our app card so we'll need to make sure that we import that app card we can give the app card a child of text we'll say developer dot school we'll give that some style so we'll say text style we can change the font size of this to be 32. And notice that as soon as we actually do that, we can see our awesome new card. We'll change the axis alignment of the column too. So we'll say main axis alignment equal to main axis alignment dot center. That will center everything inside of this column. We can then at the same time, we can add a text align of text align dot center to our text. So we now have the centered card, which has some box shadow and centered text. At this stage, we can most likely remove this center. So we'll simply say replace this widget with its children. You can do that by hitting command dot on the center itself. Next up, we want another app card. So let's say app cards. 
And inside of the app card, we want a child. That child can have a container. We'll have the margin, because we want this below this card. We can say edge insets dot only. We want to do only the top and we'll say 20 for the top. Now we can see we have this extra card underneath. Inside of the card's container, we can give that a child of a column. And that's because we want to add some text fields to this card. So we can say the column will have children of the text form field. That's how we add a text form field, of course, within Flutter. And we can give the text form field a decoration equal to the input decoration. The input decoration gives us the opportunity to say label text and we'll say email. So when we do that, we can now have this sort of card which contains some text form fields and at the moment just an email. We can copy this once again and we'll simply say password for the below one. So now we have an email and password. I'm not sure whether the edge insets for the margin looks right, so let's remove that. We'll leave it for now. We may want to add it back in the future, potentially. So now that we have this text form field, what we want now is a login button. So let's go down and we'll say container. We want this to have the width of double infinity. That allows us to have the button max width, essentially. We can have a child of a flat button. The flat button can have the child of text login. We can have an on pressed event right now, so that'll just be empty. And when we save, we should be able to see that login button. In order to make this a bit more fancy and match the user interface, we can have a color of colors.black and a text color of colors.white. So this now sort of matches our black and white interface. We'll now need to add some margin to this button. So we'll say edge insets dot only top. Try 10 to see what 10 looks like. 10 might be fine, 20 might be better. I think that looks okay for now. Next up, we might want a forgot password sort of under this. So we'll have another container. So we'll have a container which simply has a child of a flat button. The flat button will have a child of text forgot password. And we'll align this using the alignment inside of the container to be alignment.center right. This will put on the right of the password. You can see it's currently grayed out and that's because it needs an on pressed event like so. Now we can click the forgot password if we select it like that. Next up, I want to add something below the card. So now we have maybe a row and this is if you don't have an account, you can sign up. So we'll go underneath this app card. We can see here inside of VS Code, it tells us where that ends. So we can add a comma and now we have a row. We can give the row a children of text. Don't have an account question mark. And then underneath that, a flat button of on pressed, which is going to be empty. And of course, a child of text. Sign up. This looks good. Let's just give it a main axis alignment of main axis alignment dot center. That will now center the sort of don't have an account button. And we can then, of course, if we wanted to click sign up, that's the reason we have a row. Just allows us to have both of the content right next to each other here. So that's been a sort of little UI challenge and I would like to do more of this content on the channel if you think that it's useful. And one thing I want to show you actually before we go, if you click this right now, we have this sort of blue color. We might not want that blue color. And what we do is go over to main.dart and we can set the theme data. So theme, theme data. We can say something like the primary color equal to colors.black. And that should give us that black underline and match the rest of our UI. So I hope you found it useful. If you have, let me know inside the comments what you think. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay updated for more content. Thanks a lot. Bye.